Want to welcome to the program right now our friend Julie Gunlock from the Independent Women's Forum. How are you today, Julie? I'm doing great, and, and that's great news. It is good news. I was, I, you know, when I read this, I was thinking about when my wife and I first got married. We were living in Oklahoma City. Uh, she did not have a car. Moving from New Jersey, we had one car, and uh, and she had to take the bus uh, to and yeah. from work. And there was a guy who, uh. no surprise, right, uh, a, a guy who decided that he took a liking to my wife, and he followed yeah. her home on yep. several occasions. Yep. Um this was before my wife had her concealed carry license, but uh, I'm, I'm glad to know that uh, men and women uh, who are taking public transportation in Oklahoma City and Tulsa uh, now don't have to give up their right of self-defense while they're doing so. Yeah, well, I, I, I have had similar experiences. I've, I've uh, been a young woman in the D.C. area and have had similar experiences and would have liked to have had... Um, some ability uh, to defend myself, but D.C. doesn't allow that. So um, glad to see that some states and localities are, are responding to this. I am, too. Now, listen, you've got a piece of acculturated right now, and I this to me is so fascinating because you and I have talked about this so many times over the years. The, the, the scolds who want to tell you how to eat and, oh, I can't believe you're feeding that to your kids. Why can't you just make that homemade mac and cheese, the organic <laughs> quinoa? Michelle Obama, Sam Cass, the, uh, the, the Obama chef yeah. in the White House, uh, hanging out in D.C. at uh, an event, uh, what the, the health, Partnership for a Healthier America's annual meeting in Washington, D.C. And let me just quote from your piece at Acculturated. Uh, Mrs. Obama uh, talked about how her, her daughter Malia was so sad to see the Kraft mac and cheese disappear from the cupboard when Sam Cass came in and said, we're going to eat healthier. But she explained how she soothed her daughter by assuring her that mac and cheese can still be eaten. It just has to be made from scratch. And then you write without a hint of irony. She revealed a rather important detail. She wasn't doing the one cooking. She had a personal chef to do the cooking for right. her to make right. that mac and cheese from scratch. Not all of us, Julie, are lucky enough to have a personal <laughs> chef available to make mac and cheese from scratch. That's right. Uh, I don't have a personal chef. To, uh, chef, I, I, I cook for my kids every night, and sometimes I take a shortcut. And um, it's irritating to me to hear this narrative from these people who have personal chefs who have assistants lecturing the average American on their food choices. Um, look, uh, <laughs> for, for most people, the goal is get your kids fed and get them to bed. And <laughs> Michelle Obama will tell you that, no, 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 no. Uh, you should, you should make a, like a, a mac and cheese from scratch, or you should make a, a food product from scratch and feed your kids. We all know, reasonable moms know, reasonable people know, this takes time. And it's frustrating for those of us who are trying to tell people, look, do your best. You know, just like if you need to open a can of fruit cocktail, if you need to open or if you need to use, you know, frozen vegetables, um, it's frustrating for us. Um, when she says, no, everything has to be made from scratch, it, it's not true. And you can, you can use convenience foods. You can use a couple of shortcuts um, to get food on the, uh, on the table for your kids. Um, so it's a real frustration for people who are trying to advise people to do your best when you have the first, first ladies telling you, you should, you should, you know, you know, um, cook everything from scratch. Well, it it is, but I think it's also, you know, to me, it's kind of like hearing Michael Bloomberg with his, you know, 18 yes. bodyguards talk about, you don't need a gun to protect yourself, <laughs> right? Yeah, it's crazy talk. Right. It It is, it's hypocrisy, right. but it's it's also, uh, it, it demonstrates, you know, how out of touch yeah. uh, these people are with you know, just ordinary Americans, right? That uh, no... We don't have bodyguards, and no, we don't have personal chefs. And, and look, right now, I'll be honest with you. I talked to my wife earlier today. 
Uh, you know what an amazing cook my wife is. And she yeah. said, we're making lasagna or I'm making lasagna. We're having lasagna tonight. I'm, I'm going to make it. And, and she'll she'll make the pasta. But she also works from home. She can do this and, right. you know, uh, stretches at a time. And it's not like I get that every night, Julie. I don't get the homemade pasta right. every night. There are right, nights right, where right. I say, hey, do you want me to pick up KFC on the way home? Hey, do you want me to, uh, you know, stop and right. get something from uh, the grocery store? We'll do a rotisserie chicken. Uh, you know, there are also nights where we eat our own pork. Most people, I think, as you say, you're right. They're not trying. They look, they know that they can't live up to that expectation of every day. I'm going to go out and I'm going to gather fresh vegetables for my garden. Yes, I'm yes, going to go home exactly. and I'm going to butcher that hog myself. And I'm going to turn that into delicious pork chops. No, but where is that recognition of, okay, you know what? We got a lot of Americans who are working longer hours. Frankly, uh, many Americans working longer hours for less pay. Uh, they're trying to to stretch their budget. They're trying to make sure that their kids eat well. Right. And then right. they get shamed because they're not eating yes. well enough. Yes. Right? Exactly. They're not eating well enough. It's such a good point. Not well enough. That is the point. Look, <laughs> I would love to go out to my garden and harvest fresh tomatoes and fresh this or that, and then go into my kitchen and cut them up and make like a fresh salad. The bottom line is I need help. I can't. I can't do that. So I go to the grocery store and I buy a bag of salad and I buy some some tomatoes and I buy some other things and I make a salad. And that that is good enough. <laughs> I feel like there's a, there's a there's a good enough, like we need to remember that it's good enough. And, and so often we forget that and we put so much pressure on parents to be perfect. Um, where good enough is good enough, right? Like just like giving, giving kids something that's healthy. Um, and, and whether it's store-bought is fine. It's, it's perfectly fine. And we forget that. Talking again with uh, Julie Gunlock from the Independent Women's Forum. I don't think I'd like to think we don't forget it, but again, there's there's that uh, there's that cultural pressure, um, whether yeah, it's yeah. you know the first lady, or it's the celebrities, or it's yeah. the magazines you see in the checkout stands, right? Uh, right. And, and so there there is all this I, I think constant drumbeat of you're not doing it good enough, you're not doing it good enough, you're not doing right, it good enough, right? And and I see that, and frankly, I'm not the intended target of a lot of this messaging, but I still pick up on it. Yes, yes, exactly. And honestly, we need to remember, you just need to f- give your kids more fruits and vegetables. You need to worry less. Can we do that in about- roll-up form, by the way? Can we do that? In- <laughs> you need to worry less about the source, okay? Um if it's organic, if it's non-GMO, if it's this or that, you need to worry less. If it's frozen, if it's canned, you need to worry less about those things. And you just need to ensure that it is a fruit or vegetable. <laughs> um, those are the important things. The source is less important. These are important messages, um, and, and which is lost on, on a lot of these from celebrities and and a lot of uh, messengers on this stuff. The point is is to get your kids more nutrients and 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 frankly there are a lot of low cost ways to do that. That's the important message. Yeah, uh, well, it, it is the important message, but it's not the message that uh, yeah, frankly a lot yeah. of these folks are, are putting out there. Exactly right. All right. Uh, and you can read Julie's piece uh, at acculturated.com. Uh, you know, it's interesting. We've seen both of the Obamas recently hang out with uh, a Sam Cast to lecture us on food. Is this going to be one of their uh, uh, post presidency issues, you think? Well, look, Sam Cast um, is uh, 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 as a well known sycophant of the Obamas. Um, he loves to bask in their glory. And so. I think that Sam Cass is here to stay, just like Mark Bittman, just like many of these um, of these these food stars. Um, so, and and look, Michelle Obama, um, as well-meaning as she is, she has a lot of uh, uh, very tough messages about food, um, things that we work hard to 
just just to remind people that look, you can do you can do you can, you can do good by your kids, but you don't have to necessarily feed them the fresh food out of plucked from your garden. You can feed them fresh or canned food or, or frozen or canned food, and that's that's often even more nutritious. Um, it might not be popular. It might not be the thing that hipsters think is the great, greatest thing, but it's it's perfectly nutritious, and we need to remember that that is it's 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 affordable and it's nutritious. Julie Gunlock with the Independent Women's Forum. Listen, I appreciate you coming on the program, as always, and uh, hopefully I'll be up to see you before long. Good, good, good. Let's plan that. All right, we'll do it soon. Uh, Julie Gunlock, you can find her on Twitter, at jgunlock, also uh, online at iwf.org, and uh, her latest piece, again, at acculturated.com.